The dumbest school rules ever. This one elementary school had a rule where a student, if they were feeling sick, would not be able to go home or call their parents unless they had a fever or puked. Well, one day, this kid's stomach was super messed up. He wasn't feeling good at all. Miss, can I go to the nurse's office, please? Ow. So he goes to the nurse's office. So it's a stomach ache, huh? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it hurts so bad. Well, you don't have a fever, and you didn't throw up, and you can't stay here. I have to send you back to class. I'm sorry. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you know the rules. Well, this made him super mad, because his stomach was actually hurting pretty bad. So he stared at her, and with incredible focus and pure dedication, he somehow managed to get himself to throw up right on the nurse. <laughs> Can I go home now? The school changed that rule shortly after that. Another one, this middle school wouldn't let their students talk at all during lunch. Apparently, this is a very common rule. But at one middle school, there was a group of friends that wanted to beat the system. So over the course of a few months, they all individually learned sign language. They became fluent, and they started talking to each other during lunch with sign language only. Oh my god, what are they, what are they doing? Dear god, do they all learn sign language? Can they do that? Are they allowed to do that? I'll get the principal. And they couldn't do anything about it because sign language technically isn't talking. When this kid was in fourth grade, his glasses broke. Oh man. But it didn't really matter because in most of his classes, he sat in the front row so he could still see. Well, after a few days of going to class without his glasses, one of his teachers said, Kyle, I see you still don't have your glasses. Are they still broken? Yeah, but it's fine. I can still see the board. The thing with this teacher though was that she would always write assignments on the board for students to work on during class. She would never explain the assignment Students would just read the board and then do their work. But anyway, she said, Kyle, it's been four days now. Your parents should have gotten you new glasses at this point. You're sitting in the back of the class. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is what needs to be done before the end of class, okay? Get to work. Oh, I can't see it. What the heck? Sit down, Kyle. Hey, Stacy, can you tell me what the board says? Yeah, it says, um, Stacy, don't you dare tell him what it says. I'm teaching him a freaking lesson. I hate my life. <laughs> this school is super sus. This one high school had this weird thing, where in every single bathroom, the toilet paper rolls weren't inside the stalls. They were outside on the wall. So anybody that had to go into a stall had to take enough toilet paper before they got in there. But if you didn't grab enough, or you forgot, you were screwed. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no, I forgot to grab toilet paper. Hello? Hello, is anyone in here? Oh god. In high school, there was a science teacher who was a bit older. He was a pretty nice guy, but he sweat all the time. All right, and, and that is evolution. <laughs> is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm sweating up a storm. Well, he would do this super weird, gross thing every single day. He had this plant on his desk, and towards the end of class, every single day, he would take off his shirt in front of everybody and wring out his sweaty shirt into the plant. Sir, what are you doing? Plants need water, Kyle. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> He was eventually fired because taking your shirt off in class is frowned upon. Makes sense. Who shared the story said that seven years after he graduated high school, he got a phone call. What is this? Hello? It was his old high school senior English teacher. And this is what she told him. Hi, Carl. Yeah, this is Mrs. Stevens from the high school you went to. Oh, hi. W what is going on? Hi, I'm calling because I just found out that seven years ago, I accidentally miscalculated your final grade. You were supposed to get an F. And that means you weren't supposed to graduate high school. So we're letting you know that we're taking away your diploma, okay? What? What? Yeah, so you're going to have to come back and finish one more class if you want your diploma, okay? All right, bye-bye. What? What? The funny part is, this dude already had his bachelor's degree, and he was working at a very high paying company. This has to be the most petty school in the world. To call someone seven years after they graduated to say that they actually failed the final? That's crazy. Get out of here. Craziest teachers ever. At one middle school, there was a teacher that had a samurai sword, and he kept it in his trunk. Well, every time there was a fire drill, his students would line up right by where his car was parked. And every time there was a fire drill, he would show kids his samurai sword. All right, next. Whoa, that's amazing. Can I hold it? Oh, you want to hold it? Yeah, sure. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Next. Students loved him. 
The samurai sword was pretty cool too, but the school found out about this and he was fired immediately. But the response from students was overwhelming. A group of students made thousands of posters of that teacher photoshopped to look like a samurai. And they wrote, free my samurai homie, and placed it all around the school. Well, despite their best efforts, that teacher did not get his job back. Worst teachers of all time. At one high school, there was a student that would sometimes fall asleep during class. Well, one day this teacher had enough. She wanted to embarrass him and teach him a lesson. Kyle, wake up. What, 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 what? what? I have had enough with you sleeping in my class. Come to the front of the classroom and explain to everyone why you're always sleeping. Miss, please, I'm sorry. Now. He gets up out of his desk and walks to the front of the classroom. When he began talking, he starts to cry a little bit. This is what he said. I hate you for making me do this. You want to know why I've been sleeping? Because my family's been having a really hard time, okay? I had to pick up two jobs to help them pay the bills. We almost lost our house last year. I'm just trying to help my family. Screw you. Her plan backfired, and from that day on, she became the most hated teacher at that school. 